Wednesday's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful sees Finn and Sheila's emotional reunion as she recounts Sugar's sinister plan to harm Steffi. Meanwhile, Steffi confronts Ivy's advances towards Liam. Sheila's traumatic ordeal unfolds, igniting tension and revelations among the characters. The Bold and the Beautiful recap, Sheila and Finn on Wednesday, May 1st hug, Sun verifies Steffi made it through Sugar's scheme. Sheila Carter managed to sit up and drink more water, but John Finn of Finnegan insisted they take her to the hospital, according to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, May 1. Shortly after, Deacon Sharp managed to remove Sheila's chain from the wall using an object he had found. Sheila smiled at Deacon, asking whether he was ready to head home. Sheila reacted to the word, sugar, alias Janet Weber, and appeared scared when Deacon inquired if she was the one who brought her there. When Sheila revealed that Sugar was the one who had abducted her, she almost passed out while attempting to tell Steffi Forrester about Sugar's plans for the cliff house. Sheila had trouble saying it, but she managed to say that Sugar intended to get rid of Steffi. Deacon assured Sheila that she didn't need to be fearful, despite her repeated admissions of regret and her attempts to stop Sugar. Sheila was relieved to hear from Finn that Steffi was still alive and that everyone in the family was doing well. Finn assured Sheila that she was secure now and that he would take care of her after Sheila expressed her love for them all. Finn drew Sheila into an embrace after pointing out that, despite what she may have believed, he had lost her. When Deacon witnessed the intimate mother-son interaction, Sheila gave Finn a hug in return. Stay tuned as our BNB predictions indicate that Sheila and Finn's friendship will cause a lot of issues in his marriage to Steffi. When Rich Forrester at Forrester Creations saw that Steffi was preoccupied, she became enraged and decided to confront Deacon for playing with Finn's head. Ivy Forrester hoped she didn't go too far when kissing Liam Spencer in that manner at Isle Giardino, but it was obvious he didn't mind. As more of Sheila's story is revealed, Finn and Sheila give each other a tender embrace, and Ivy advances strongly. The Bold and the Beautiful Today, Thursday, May 2, 2024, Sheila describes what happened with Sugar, Steffi prods Ivy, and Finn assures his mother he believes her. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Sheila is eating pizza in Deacon's apartment when Finn says in a whisper, we should take her to the hospital. Deacon claims that she is being cared for by her own physician. Although he understands Finn's concern, he finds it odd that she is consuming pizza in an out-of-date manner. Oh my god, I missed that gal. Sheila speaks up, I also missed you. You two together. Not deaf, she's just dehydrated. Sheila maintains that she's alright because she's with her two greatest friends and in safety. She will quickly return to her previous self, Deacon promises. Deacon is correct, says Finn, having you back is everything. He takes her hand. Liam thinks it's fantastic that Steffi joined him and Ivy at I.L. Giardino. Steffi is taken aback by her cousin's desire for her to accompany her, as she had assumed that Liam was her own. Well, they say three's a crowd, Ivy muses. Was it worth it, Steffi wonders. What, inquires Ivy. Flying all the way from Australia just to plant one on this guy, remarks Steffi. Liam thinks, well, this is enjoyable. Steffi queries Ivy on her trip's objective. Her granddad is the other attractive man she went to visit, according to her cousin. He looks fantastic. Yes, he does, Steffi responds. It seems that you also believe Liam looks fantastic. Liam tries to shift the topic, but Ivy stops him before they can. She says that even though it has been a while since they last saw one another, he is still the same stunning man on the inside and out. Nice, considerate, and quite hot. Steffi reaches for her wine glass and takes a sharp sip. Ivy says she would be pounding on Liam's door to go on a date if she lived there. Steffi utters a soft wow. Finn feels Sheila's pulse in Deacon's apartment, she reports feeling weak. Sheila believes that spending more time with Deacon will hasten her recovery, but Finn wants to take her to the hospital. She looks a lot better than when they found her, Deacon jokes. Finn queries his birth mother about the events. She cries, saying, Sugar happened. Sugar took place. 
Sheila finds it incomprehensible how they found out about Sugar. Deacon tells him that he learned about her from Lauren Fenmore. Later on, they can discuss the specifics. Finn questions how Sugar managed to carry out her actions covertly. According to Sheila, it all began with the texts. Though it wouldn't have stopped her in any case, she ought to have disregarded them. She made several attempts to see her, but she never materialized. She was going errands one day when Sugar kidnapped her and carried her to the warehouse where she was chained up. Sugar had been anticipating and planning this day for a long time, and she was furious. She desired retribution. Within Ayel Giardino, Ivy thinks to herself, maybe I'm being too forward, as she strokes Liam's shoulder. With a snarky, you think? Steffi Ivy doesn't see the necessity to keep her. Emotions hidden. She believes that a relationship with Liam would be fantastic. Well, okay, okay. Yeah. He's remarkable, he's amazing, he's all the things, he's also my daughter's father, Steffi says, raising her hands. Liam is informed by her that they must see Kelly. Ivy gives Liam a back rub and another kiss. Okay, on that note, Steffi says, beaming. Ivy gives Liam a hug and leaves, but Liam stammers. Being subtle is surely not Steffi's strong suit, she muses. As Liam returns to his seat, Steffi chuckles and shrugs, saying, Well, neither is mine. We, the Forester women. You must adore it. Liam gives her a quick glance before taking her wine glass. Hey, she chuckles. Sheila is asked by Deacon at his apartment what Sugar done to her. Sheila sees Sugar chained up in the warehouse, declaring, I'm in charge now, and then saying that nobody is even trying to find her. It will be much too late by the time they act. She has been harboring this resentment for a very long time since Sheila betrayed her when she was meant to be a friend. While Sugar continues to talk about having to face the consequences for her misdeeds, Sheila tries to break away. Her life was devastated by her, but that is over now. She didn't even care that she was in a hellhole, her only thought was getting even. You were arrested for what you did to Lorne Fenmore's son, asserts Sheila. Sugar fumes that if Sheila hadn't been there, none of it would have occurred. After after, Sugar informs her that she is going to Steffi Forrester's beach house. You're going to pick your first victim, Steffi. No, exclaims Sheila. I tried to stop her, Sheila says to Finn and Deacon back in the present. I made an effort to stop Steffi and the kids from being harmed by Sugar. She didn't care what it took to get back at me, she was just determined to protect children from that crazy mother. All she wanted was to get me to pay for it. She also nearly got away with it. Finn sulks, it's okay. She is held by Deacon. Steffi informs Liam at the cliff home that Becky will be dropping Kelly off shortly, and she can't wait to see him. She compliments him on being a great father and lets him know that she thinks the same of Beth. Liam makes a joke about his ego imploding because of her and Ivy. The difference, according to Steffi, is that she isn't attempting to date him. She is correct in one regard, he is amazing. Don't let Finn hear you say that, Liam jokes. Steffi acknowledges that this morning she felt a strange vibe from her spouse. It wasn't about Sheila this time around because she is no longer with us. Sheila expands on Sugar's idea with Deacon and Finn in Deacon's apartment. In the warehouse, she has a flashback where she threatens to strangle Steffi and those brats of her. Everyone is going to believe that you killed your son's wife, your grandson's mother. They'll lock Sheila up and discard the key after she's finished. Her cherished son has no desire to interact with her in the future. You don't look like me but you don't sound like me, Sheila says to Sugar. With a clear voice, Sugar asks, how about now? Sheila ogles something. Don't harm Steffi and those precious children, she warns Sugar, adding that she may do whatever she wants to her. Avoid hurting them. Tonight, Steffi Forrester dies and you spend the rest of your miserable life behind bars, Sugar declares while donning a mask. Sugar gives Sheila a few kicks while she struggles with the leg iron. Sheila sobs as she exits the warehouse, saying, No, don't hurt Steffi, no. She wails for assistance. Sheila recoils at the recollection, telling Finn that she loves him, Steffi, and the kids more than she does. 
Finn assures me that Steffi is okay, and they will clarify later. They have to look after her right now. This woman has terrorized and abused her, yet she has never wavered in her love for him, his wife, and their kids. It demonstrates. I would do anything to protect you, Steffi, and those children, son, Sheila declares. Finn says to her, Mom, I believe you. You have my belief. They give hugs. On the bold and the beautiful, next up, Sheila discovers the circumstances leading up to her current predicament, and Liam and Steffi take comfort in the knowledge that their kids are protected from her. Please subscribe our channel.